up YouTube fish tube and fish fans this is Rob with the Freeze Aquariums today I'm coming to you with a unboxing as I mentioned in my last two videos about the swap meet and you know just some of the benefits so just to recap you know if you can find a swap meet in your area it's definitely worth checking out you get not one but several advantages one being you get to hang out with like-minded people whether they be the vendors or sellers or people like you and me that you know love the hobby and then second that are out there looking for deals whether it be on fish fish tanks uh, decorations food whatever in the video you kind of got to see a little bit that was kind of the first swap that they've had at this location when i went to the slash fish swap um, i got to meet and chat with Brianne from Brianne's Fish Fam. And then I got to speak to her mother Sandy and her father Dave from Farrell's Fish and More. And also chit chat with her, her sister, Olivia, who's not into fish but loves fish shirts. There is their information if you can read it. I know it's probably backwards. Um, I will leave a link in the description to their get gills channel uh, they have sword plants they have salvinia they have different type of worm cultures um, and they have some fish and some shrimp so they're a little bit of everything as the title dictates or the name fish and more so i want to do this quick i told her i probably wouldn't be able to do an unboxing because i have an appointment in a half an hour but i made good time up and back one advantage to a fish swap I not only got to hang out with like-minded people, I got to meet uh, several vendors, and I've purchased a few things from other vendors that I met there, and developed a relationship, both business and friendship. So at this second swap meet, which I just confirmed that they're looking to definitely do more, which I'm excited about. So at least while I'm still here in New York suffering, I can still go to these. When it came to meeting Brianne and Sandy and Dave, and Olivia, even though, again, Olivia is into fish shirts, not fish keeping. Um, you know, I developed another relationship, another um, business relationship, and somewhat of a friendship. They're about 40-minute drive just north of me, and it's a beautiful ride up. Traffic's not bad, at, you know, at this hour. Um, so, I had purchased some white worm cultures. I had purchased some of the micro worms and I purchased a fish that was new to me, um, the dwarf, or dwarf, daisy blue rice fish. Never had them before. And I've had them here since the swap, and they fit beautifully in my 29 gallon. And they, they just, just the addition of those fish in there have brought my CBDs, my uh, dwarf emerald rasboras, my green neons, brought them all up out of the jungle vial, and now they're moving around. So, what I did was, now that they've got me hooked, I bought the cultures, figuring, okay, you know, if I can continue these cultures going, um, that will save me from having to go to the store. Well, I fed a few of the white worms to my pea puffers, and they went nuts. To the point, I have them eating um, frozen blood worms, as well as live black worms. So I fed them the white worms a few, um, I think two days. I didn't want to damage the culture because I wanted to grow them out. And uh, so I have frozen ones. Bought them out, went to put them in there. One or two came up and kind of took it. But there were a few like, I don't want that. I want the good stuff. You can keep the hot dogs and hamburgers. I want the filet mignon. So watching Brianne's videos and a lot of other videos about keeping different live foods and having the cultures, I'm like, I need to do more. So... I ran up to their neck of the woods, and I got some more white worms, which are in this, um, if you'll be able to see them, there he is. That's one of them. Um, and car, uh, coconut fibers. And then I figured, okay, I've got um, micro worms and live worms, so I wanna try to do Grindle worms. And these are a little bit bigger, which, uh, where is he? I just saw him. I can 
get the light. Right there is one. Another one down there. They're a little bit bigger than the um, the micro worms, which are great for your fry, um, especially if you're you know as they are into breeding and uh, breeding project they have with bettas that they're getting involved in. You know, I figured I would try them, especially with winter coming. There's not a lot to do when it's cold outside. So they got me hooked and watching her videos gave me the insight for my culture. So I kind of ramped up the ones that I bought from the swap with some bread, some yogurt, and some yeast. So just in a uh, two or two days or so, I'm starting to see a lot more of the white worms coming out. I have here the blue rice fish. So there's three in there. Another three. And of course, being in the bag, you know, it doesn't do them any justice. Um, there you go. Those eyes, when they light up in my tank and they're blue, they're beautiful. They're, they're insanely beautiful. So I've got six more to put in there to hope um, it really brings the other fish up more and keeps them up in the middle of the water column. And then lastly, I have I don't know if you'll be able to see them some cherry shrimp the ones that are attached to the moss are doing well so at any rate um, that's got me set up with that and I'm going to, once I get back, get all these um, cultures going. And not to mention that, you know, just in case I forget, which I'm prone to do, got instructions on how to take care of the grindle worms, which I think is awesome, especially for somebody new that wants to try this. Um, it talks about reculturing. They provide their emails if you have any questions. And then, um, the care and everything needed to start your white worm. So it actually worked out pretty well. It's definitely worth checking out. As you see here, the fish swap turned into more goodies for me. And for the little bit of time I spent to drive out, I'm saving money as well as time, not having to go into a, a location that I'm just not happy with. Um, you know, I, it just makes life that much more comfortable. And I'm going to have a continuing source of live food for my pea puffers as well as some of my other fish. And that in itself is built in savings. Knowing what I pay for a teaspoon of black worms versus what I've spent just on these cultures and the rewards I'm going to reap going forward, that's money saved. It's a win win. And as you guys know, I'm all about talking about saving money. So with that, folks, I've got to get ready to go to my appointment. And uh, I will come back with an update uh, once those uh, fish are in the tank and show you those. And uh, once the cultures and everything are up and running, I'll give you a quick peek on those. So with that, this is Rob from the Freaks Aquariums. Keep those sleeves wet. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for your support. Don't forget to like, sub, subscribe, share, all that stuff that somebody says at the end of their video. Peace.